Welcome to day three of the Infinite Woman Irresistible Energy Challenge. I am so excited to have you back for the third and final day. I think that we should take a minute and applaud yourself because I feel like this is an amazing accomplishment. You have totally and completely committed to yourself, committed to the process, and committed to the journey, and of course, the challenge. So way to go. I am so excited that you've made it this far. I'm so excited about all your progress and everything that you've accomplished and all of your aha moments and all of your breakthroughs and getting to know you and connecting with you has been absolutely beautiful. And I love the sisterhood and the community that you are building within this challenge. It is absolutely priceless. It is my hope that even after the challenge, you take away friendships from this group. You stay connected and you stay loving on each other and being that support that we all really need. So the last two days, we've been working on trust and, and flowing with our energy and expressing ourselves. And today is actually all about embracing your enticing femininity. And what exactly does that mean? Well, we all have feminine energy and masculine energy, no matter our gender, okay, no matter who we are. And we really are meant to find a balance of these two. And why does this matter? Well, how many times have you struggled to listen to yourself about when you need to take a break and need, when you need to work, when you need to take that inspired action? How many times have you really wanted to rest, but you forced yourself to push forward and you were really in resistance and everything took significantly longer and you were just more frustrated at the end of the day? Or how many times have you rested but really on the inside, you just want to work so bad. The thing is, is that embracing your feminine power and your feminine energy and embracing your masculine side as well is all about listening to yourself and learning when the time is right to take action and the time is right to, to rest. Because you need to do both. Okay, you need to work. That is just the reality of it. You can't, not that you can't just manifest doing nothing. You absolutely can. But the thing is, is that how this works is there has to be a give and a take. You must give and then you can take. You must give and then you can take. So what kind of work are you doing on a regular basis? Whether this is with your career, a business you own, you must do the work first. And that's when you're in your masculine energy. When you're doing, that is very much a masculine energy. Okay, when you're resting, you're receiving, and that's a feminine energy. So there are going to be days where you need rest, and there are gonna be days where you need to work your ass off. And I'm sure you hear my dog in the background. So, and I've already jumped into this and I just realized that I didn't tell you who I was and I hope by now you've got that figured out. I'm Angela, I am the hostess of this challenge and I am the CEO and founder of Transform with Angela. I have spent many years healing from my trauma and owning a business at the same time. This is my third business that you see and I'm so excited to have you here and for you to come along on this journey. I've spent years healing from all kinds of trauma and I felt like the last piece of it was really overcoming self-doubt and really, really learning to trust myself and that's what you see this piece of it is. So I'm very excited to have you and welcome to this challenge and now that my dog is done barking, we can get back into the meat of this, okay? So like I was saying, you really want to have a balance of both your masculine energy and your feminine energy. This is vital to your energy flow. This is vital to learning to trust yourself. This is vital to learning to embrace your emotions and where you're at. If you don't know when to take a break and you don't know when to work, number one, you'll create burnout, but also number two, you'll just be running around or, or resting all the time and never actually receiving because you're not not doing anything as far as the action goes. You want a balance. Now, most women that have experienced trauma 
actually have um, are usually more in their masculine energy than they are in their feminine energy. And why is this? Because we've been conditioned to work, right? We we have to work our ass off to have everything that you you that we want. You have to struggle and work to get you know ahead. You have to make sure that you're on the brink of burnout to have any type of success. And if you're not on the brink of burnout, there's no way that you're successful, right? Does any of this sound familiar? Not only have we been conditioned, but we also tend to work to avoid our feelings, to avoid our trauma. And it's easy to do those things because it's distracting. You don't have time to think about what's going on. You don't have time to dwell in the past and to think about all the things. Distract, 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 right? And it's easy to do that with work. That's how I used to avoid everything in my life is so that I could work, work 18 hours a day, you know, maybe have two days off a month. I would work eight hours at this job and then eight hours at the other job and everything in between and go to school. I was doing whatever it took to make sure that I was avoiding my feelings and avoiding my trauma. So if that sounds familiar to you and you resonate with that, I want you to know that you really already know how to be in your masculine energy. It's about receiving. It's about slowing down. And that part is hard. That part is hard because the second you slow down, you start to hear these voices in your head. You should be working. There's dishes that need to be done. There's laundry that could be done. There's stuff outside that could be done. There's all these lists of things that that you need to do right now and how dare you rest, right? Does that sound familiar? You're getting the guilt trip. You're getting the shitty committee. You're getting all the things that you should be doing right now because even after you've worked maybe 50, 60 plus hours, you don't deserve to work. How familiar does that sound? Yes, that guilt runs deep when we're resting, when we're trying to give to ourselves and allow ourselves to receive. And it is because we tend to take that conditioning on from our parents, but also, you know, when the thoughts try to come up, we don't know what to do with the thoughts and the emotions that come in when we're slowing down, right? It's not just the conditioning. Now, if we are slowing down, we're sitting with our emotions, we're sitting with our feelings, we're, we're sitting with our thoughts. And a lot of those thoughts and feelings don't really feel good. So it is easier to just go and do whatever else is waiting for you, right? Does that sound familiar? I know that it does. I know that it does. And I've experienced that in my life, okay? Totally and completely. But there is a balance you're meant to find. And you're probably wondering, well, what do I do with those voices in my head? What do I do with the shitty committee that's always telling me that I should be working and that I don't deserve to rest and all of those things? Well, I'm very excited to let you know that in the Infinite Woman program, we are going to heal and address and take care of those voices that are running your life when you're sit when you're trying to relax when you're trying to be in your feminine energy and right before you go do things that are inspired action and in your masculine energy i'm very excited about that program i cannot wait for you to check it out so the thing is is that you do want to make sure that you have a balance of both Because when you are in your feminine energy, you are allowing, you are receiving. You're telling the universe, God, source, whatever you want to believe in, that you're ready to receive. That you've done the work and you trust that what you desire is being allowed into your experience. And you're allowing it. You're technically doing something by resting, right? If that makes it a little bit easier for you. So I want you to make sure that you are checking in with yourself each and every single day. What is it that I need right now? And most of you, it's you need a break. Most of you, you need to get off of social media. Most of you, you need to go have fun. Most of you, you want to, you, you need to go play, right? It's going to be messages like that. Sometimes it is going to be messages of, okay, let's work, bitch. Okay, it's going to be like that. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But I want you to be aware of those things. If you are not checking in with yourself every single day, you're not going to know. Okay. And you can ask yourself, what is it that I need? What do I need? 
What do I need today? Do I need rest? Do I need work? And if that doesn't get you very clear, right? Because even sometimes, and I've experienced this myself, even sometimes when I do receive the messages that I um, was looking for or that I'm asking, I don't trust it. I don't fully trust it because it didn't feel quite clear enough, right? So when you ask yourself, what it, what is it that I need? And you don't feel like the message is quite clear enough. Then I want you to ask yourself, what is my soul calling me to do today? What is my soul asking me to do? What does my soul need from me? That will help you get a little bit clearer message. It will be a little bit louder instead of what is it that I need? Because sometimes we very much mistake our ego for our intuition in the other way around. And we don't want that. We want to build trust with ourselves, And the best way to build trust with ourselves is to continuously check in and ask ourselves what it is that we need and then follow through. So if you really struggle with trusting yourself, we are going to work on this in the Infinite Woman program. But the best way for you to start doing that now is to check in and make sure that you're checking in with these kind of questions every day and then execute based on what it is that you truly need. And if that's not enough for you, then I want you to ask yourself, if I had millions of dollars in the bank right now and millions of dollars coming in every single day, what is it that I would do today? What would I do today? Would I rest? Would I go to the beach? Would I go on vacation? Would I work? Okay, and then you can also use this to check in with your creative energy, with your masculine energy. If I had millions of dollars today and I knew that millions of dollars was coming in every single day, what would I create? What kind of work would I do? What would I bring into the world? And so that way you can start to work on that project and work on that work and, and that creativity and hone in on that. So now you're balancing it out. You're doing what it is that you truly want to do. You're allowing yourself to create based on inspired action, masculine energy, and then you're allowing yourself to rest and receive and allow feminine energy. The balance is critical. The balance is critical because if you lean one or the other, you're preventing, if you lean this way to the masculine energy, you're preventing yourself from receiving. And if you lean this way, you're actually preventing yourself from feeling, uh, from feeling fulfilled in your life. And we want to have both, right? The, the both is so critical. This is why, this is why a lot of stay at home moms slash wives struggle with staying at home because they don't feel like they have a purpose. They don't feel like they're being fulfilled. And it's not that they're always in their feminine energy. It's because they don't feel like they are creatively expressing themselves. They don't feel like they have a purpose. They don't feel like they're fulfilled. Yes, one of the best purposes in the world is to be a mother, of course. But women also want more than that. And it is because they desire to have more than that. And there's nothing wrong with that. But this is exactly why women struggle with this. is because they're not playing into their masculine energy in the way that totally and completely fulfills them. They're doing it in a way that completely creates anger. And that's wounded masculine energy. And we don't want to play with that. We want to play with very divine masculine energy where you're doing, providing, uh, taking action based on inspired, inspired, inspired action. I don't, you know what I mean? So, so I want you to be aware of that. And there's nothing wrong with, with where they're at. And there's nothing wrong with women deciding that they want to be at home and do those things too. And, and be a mom and be a wife. Those are the most fulfilling jobs. However, it's about them being able to come into acceptance that that's what they desire to do really truly. And if it's not, they have the option to create. We live in such an infinite world now that the possibilities are absolutely endless. You want to have a balance of both feminine and masculine and you want to be very aware of what it is that you need in your life so that you know when to rest so that you know when to take action because if you don't know and you're not checking in with yourself you 100% create burnout and you're just always going to work because you don't know what else to do
in really relaxing and allowing yourself to receive actually creates inspired action creates these beautiful ideas that you're essentially worth looking for so you want to find a balance and this is how you know if they're off when you feel angry it's a wounded masculine feeling and anger is projected outward okay so if you notice that you're in an anger and you're in this angry energy and you're projecting it out on people what need what are you not doing what are you not doing that you truly want to do you want to check in with that what aren't you doing that you really want to do maybe it is work okay i know that for me, when I'm in that anger and I'm projecting, it's usually because my daughter is climbing all over me and I'm trying to get this post out in work and I'm like, I'm trying to work, child. So you, you want to be aware of that. When does that anger start to project? And what do you want to do that you're not actually doing so that that anger can subside? That's how this masculine energy is actually talking to you. That's how it's letting you know that, hey, your masculine energy is off here. On the flip side, when you're feeling resentment, that's how you know that your feminine energy is off. And when your feminine energy is off and you're feeling resentment, it's actually inward. Resentment is very much inward and it's 100% about you and not anybody else. You cannot actually resent other people. We believe that we do, but you actually cannot. You actually resent yourself for not communicating your needs, for not holding yourself to your boundaries, for not doing what it is that you truly want to do or, or relax or all of those things. You go into resentment. And resentment is 100% about you. So if you are feeling that resentment for not speaking up, not holding your boundaries, then you need to go in and ask yourself, what do I need? What do I need right now? Do I need to express myself? Do I need to rest? Do I need to do these things? Resentment is huge. What feelings aren't you expressing? That is very much about your feminine energy. What, who would you rather be nurturing rather than nagging and doing those things? You've got to check in with yourself. That resentment will eat you alive. And resentment is 100% about you, not other people. And it's, you end up resenting people because you don't speak up, because you don't hold your boundaries. And I know that that can be super complicated, but it also goes back to yesterday's, um, yesterday's um, tutorial and yesterday's challenge piece of it is that if you're not expressing yourself you then are not holding yourself to these boundaries and now you're creating resentment and now we're off in our energy now we're off in our balance and now we're off in our flow and everything else that goes along with this and now we're preventing ourselves from actually being able to trust ourselves you want to check in are you feeling resentment then that is a huge sign that your feminine energy is off and that you are really in your wounded feminine energy check in with yourself are you feeling angry and projecting it out on people if you are that is an indication that you're in wounded masculine energy and you've got to do something about it you're not going to just be able to bypass your way into balance it is a flow it is about embracing and trusting you do want to make sure that you're checking in so your homework for today is of course to leave a comment, especially if you are after this scholarship that I'm so excited to give away. You want to check in with yourself, okay? Number one, how am I feeling? What is it that I need today? Check in with your soul. What is your soul calling you to do today? And if I had a million dollars in the bank and a million dollars were coming in every day, what would I do? What would I create? And I want you to do based on what you're receiving with that information and see how different you feel throughout the day by simply listening to yourself. This is how we're building trust. Okay, I'm checking in, I'm listening, I'm executing. I'm checking in, I'm listening, I'm executing. This creates so much trust with yourself, the ability to listen to yourself. And then if you are experiencing any resentment, what can you do about it? 
What are you not communicating? What needs are not being met? What boundaries are you not holding? If you're feeling anger, what is it that you want to do that you're not currently doing? Figure those things out. All of this is self-work. All of this is about that inner work. All of this is about, about going deep within yourself and learning to trust yourself. And that's what the Infinite Woman program is all about. It is all about overcoming self-doubt and second-guessing yourself and dealing with the shitty committee. It's all about going into that and really learning to trust and embrace and flow with your energy and who you are and let go of what other people are going to think and say in the process. So if you're interested in that, I invite you to check that out. In the meantime, I will see you at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for the last day of this wonderful challenge that you have absolutely been a part of. And I'm so excited that you have been here. I'm so proud of you. Make sure you bring all of your questions. I wanna hear how your day went with your, with your doing or not doing, with your feminine energy and your masculine energy. Make sure you bring all the questions because I wanna answer them and I cannot wait to see you there. And I will see you at 4 p.m. Bye.